Good evening, everyone. So I'm going to be having a look at the global indices, and this is dated, uh, this is Sunday night the in the UK, the 1st of March 2020. Now, uh, first of all, we were really overdue for a monthly and certainly a weekly retracement back into the moving averages. Now, uh, we had a very aggressive move to the downside, uh, not technically a surprise. If I go through and have a look at the NASDAQ, um, we're kind of this distance in a way to these previous uh, levels down towards 8,000, a little bit 7,500 into this area here. Um, and all of that somewhat makes quite a bit of sense, really. I'm not at this time convinced that it was tied to the coronavirus. Not yet. I feel that uh, people just looked around and said, okay, what is this fall as a re reaction to and just attached it to the, to the topic at the time, which is coronavirus. Um, uh, it was definitely overdue. We were, you know, the market was overbought. We were due for at least for a correction. I mean, it's happened in the past. We've spoken about it. So it's not a surprise. We knew this was coming uh, over the last couple of months. And so uh, don't really feel it's due to that. At any rate, at the same time, though, the coronavirus may now be part of the general confidence as or it's now mixed into the general sentiment of the market. And the re reality of the situation is that as long as Trump is involved, there just isn't going to be a solution. Um, and actually because he just doesn't know what he's doing is just incompetent uh, as is the rest of the administration so th that's really going to be a potential thing the other thing is I did a video which I will put the link of that down into the comment section if you want to watch it which I did on what a bear, what the next bear market could potentially take the form of. Now, in principle, as I stated then, I'm still of the opinion at this point in time that we're still in a bull market. Uh, and the correction was just more of a kind of a, it's always going to be a sharp correction, but still part of the predominant uh, bullish uptrend uh, on the monthly time frame. That being said, uh, what I do want to highlight is one alternative way in which that could unfold in a slightly different manner. So initially, and I'm just going to draw this in, so this video is going to be slightly longer so that I can cover this. Um, just making sure that it does do this. Let's just have a look. So I spoke principally about how what could happen is the market could find some support, attempt to go up and then fail again, and then come down and break these lows. And as soon as it breaks that, then we start to kind of, then this is really where that becomes significant. And then price will come back up again and struggle and then and then drop quite aggressively. So that could be the one way in which it could. But what I, what I should do uh, is mention also... Um, uh, another way in which uh, what would be very interesting and significant to look for is actually if price from where it is now does a significant drop, okay, um, either down and breaks these previous swing lows or this one in a single drop. And then what could happen ultimately is that it could attempt to come. So basically it just comes straight down, breaks the lows. It'll then probably find some support and then it'll attempt to climb. Uh, and then we might see what happens at that point onwards. But that could be one of the ways. And so I'm really looking at these kind of key lows down here. And, and I highlight that because of that behavior would really be what happened here. So here basically we had a nice trend up and then it just came down and broke that low. And that effectively is the end of that trend. Uh, and so this is really what I'm highlighting over here. So excuse the messy drawing, but that's really what I wanted to talk about. Um, so that's something that I'm going to be keeping an eye on. So we could actually just come straight down. I'm going to be uh, keeping an eye on breaking these previous lows to see really what happens with that. Again, I'm going to be so cautious here because first of all, there are a lot of buy orders sitting at support levels there will be there are a lot of buy orders there um, there's a lot of uh, companies with cash that want blue chips at a discount don't forget something worth your while looking at the potential um, index bubble that's forming which is similar to the CDOs in 2007 the collateralized debt obligation so something to be aware of at any rate for now I am expecting and looking to see if we get a bit of a bullish support or consolidation in the areas where we are now if I go back up to the Dow so again, should price, I mean, in this one, you can actually see the Dow itself actually looking the weakest of the lots. It's broken right through uh, um, monthly, the, the nearest monthly support level just fallen right through that and is coming down to the next set of levels. If I then want to get some perspective on this, I need to look at this on a quarterly basis and you can see price now coming back into the moving averages. So that's a good area for it to potentially find some support. And then if I go to a yearly basis, now you really get a sense of how far away we are from, uh, we're overdue for a correction going back um, quite a while. So actually if price did have to come back down to 20,000 and I, that could be over the next 
um, next few weeks, over the next few months, next few years. Uh, that would be a really nice, healthy place for price to kind of find some support. So we would experience that as a, as a very bearish market in the meantime, but I'm just trying to draw attention to monthly charts and yearly charts, of course, can do retracements. So to go back to this, um, this is something I'm looking for. If we just continue to fall through these support levels, then the idea of a bear market coming forward uh, by you know six to eighteen months coming and starting now and us being at the beginning of the next bear market becomes a reality. But my first expectation, kind of innocent before uh, innocence until proven guilty, would be to expect price to attempt to hold at the current levels. So that's what I'll be looking for. But again, what it means is that individuals who, in my experience, who are looking to short the market will usually get burned at about this time because they'll be thinking this is it. They'll burn and the market will keep bouncing at all these buy levels. Um, so I'm just incredibly cautious at this. You can see the monthly on the um, S&P has come back into the previous highs. It's a good area for it to find some support and it's very overextended to the downside. So a nice bounce at this point this week, fresh week, fresh start would be my first expectation and then we'll see if it can recover from that so really want to see where we are by friday uh, but no doubt increased volatility if we continue to drop then the likelihood of us hitting obviously um a monthly and quarterly retracement becomes more significant the nasdaq is really going to be the one i'm going to watch here as well because it's the most bullish of the bunch the dow is looking very weak um, to see nasdaq come in see if it can hold at these previous highs uh, if it does fall much lower but really i can see there's a nice bullish candle we finished with on friday it is overextended to the downside so actually to me there is a good probability that we will see an attempt to climb up and we'll see how uh, that then manages to cope with that you can see an incredibly bearish move on the russell again it's sitting at a support level so again it's weighing up whether it just continues to just fall but it is at really good levels where uh, it may find support FTSE 100 back down into six and a half thousand into those levels again at support levels so it's feasible that we can find some support this week dax as well strong resistance breaking lower then having a look at the french cac uh similar very similar back into those lows then uh, euro stocks uh, very bearish engulfing candle. I mean, managed to give back six or seven months in a, in a, in a couple of weeks, very quick. Uh, and the S&P uh, ASICS, which is coming back into the previous highs and back into these moving averages. So just to recap, uh, a, a bullet, finding some kind of a support level this week is not outside of the realm of possibility. And then we'll see if the market is able to recover. And then if it's able to push back up from here, if it just slices through the floor, drops like a knife through butter, then that is a very serious reaction. It's the, to me, is there's a less of a chance of that than the market at, um, finding support this coming week. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm prepared for both, but I'm leaning towards the market. 60-40, the market is going to find, attempt to find some support by Friday next week. Um, mm. But as I said, if it does just continue to drop like a hot knife through butter, again, the chart that I'm going to be keeping the eye on the most, the most significant one now is actually the monthly, because this is effectively a monthly retracement. Uh, it's gone beyond uh, a weekly retracement. It just, just dropped exactly as I spoke about last week. Um, it was very aggressive, much more aggressive, uh, and it's effectively a monthly retracement at this point in time. As I said, if we just completely continue to drop and break these previous lows, then we are in. Uh, then we're looking at the we're looking at the probabilities of the onset of the next bear market relatively quickly. But I think that that is the least likely of the bunch. I think there's a lot of buy orders sitting at key levels and the buyers are very keen to jump in. And yes, there might be a bit of panic the further it goes, more and more fear. But at the same time, there's still plenty of greed around and a lot of optimism. And therefore, we might uh, find these, especially if we get a so-called, uh, if the US uh, institutes further tax or uh, tariffs or rate changes to try to get the market to find some support. And again, that is likely that that could be the case. 